What's up guys, Wallen Customs here and today we're taking a quick look at my 1999 Batman Beyond Batmobile. I have to say after 20 years this Batmobile holds up pretty well still. I think it looks fantastic. If you guys remember how it looked like stock, you know, it had some red parts here and there on it. It had more of a glossy black finish to it. A lot of stickers. So I just want to do a quick repaint on it. I got this used actually maybe six, seven years ago. And it wasn't in the greatest condition. A lot of scratches. So I just had to do a, re a full repaint on it. And I think it came out pretty well overall. Uh, so basically I repainted the whole thing gray first as a primer. Next I did a flat black on it. And then after that I did a semi-gloss finish. So it came out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's not too shiny nor is it matte black. So I think it came out just perfect. I think semi-gloss or even satin is a pretty good finish to your repaints if you want to use that because it's not too shiny nor is it too matte. And for the top parts right here, the red fins that come out. Um, I actually took those out and I repainted them with a clear red spray paint. So it kind of shines a little bit better, but they do accent the Batmobile overall. Now this Batmobile had some gimmicks to it. You know, it had some discs that fly out in the front. Uh, there's a little lever that brings down all the wings. I just wanted to just be a Batmobile for display, so I took all that stuff out because uh, my wings were kind of like wobbly and messed up, so I had to fix that. I permanently glued them down so they don't move that much at all. Just a nice Batmobile for display which I'm pretty happy with. And this was meant for 5 inch figures. So I had to gut the inside a little bit to fit a 6 inch figure. So here's the cockpit. As you can see, the clear plastic over here hasn't aged that well. If you really look closely, it's kind of yellowish, but can't really do that much about it. Uh, but opens up. My hinge is a little bit wobbly, but still is pretty decent. So I just pop out like that. And the inside, as you can see, you know, I actually left all the stickers in there because, you know, I don't have these kind of stickers anyway, so uh, it has all the buttons and stuff like that. I just left it in there. But inside in the middle, there was this like joystick-like panel that was really restricting any other bigger figure to go in there. So I just totally juggled that part out. Not the prettiest, but no one's going to see it anyway. So okay, we're going to take the 6-inch Batman Beyond figure right here and slide him right in there. And he fits in pretty good. Hands can go right onto the cockpit area and all the buttons and stuff like that. And then you can take the door right here. Fits in nicely. And for a size comparison, here it is with some other Batmobiles in my collection for a nice reference. We got the tumbler in the back right there. And we have a more recent Batmobile that came out, which is pretty nice. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's still a big Batmobile, really long as well. Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you had a lot of fun watching this. A basic repaint, but I, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun restoring this thing, watching it come back to life. Uh, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Just like in a TV show, this thing is 20 years old, way ahead of its time. Just like when Bruce Wayne had it, way before Terry McGinnis. And it holds up very well still. Uh, just really happy that you know it has some new life to it. So that is basically it guys, thank you for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace!